topic for today is the divisibility rule of 7. Before we discuss the divisibility rule of 7, first, we should know what divisible means. A number is divisible if it can be divided by another number without a remainder. Now let us go to the divisibility rule of 7. To check whether the number is divisible by 7, we should know the two steps. The first step is we need to double the last digit of the number, and the second step is we need to subtract the product from the remaining digits, and if the answer is a multiple of 7, then the number is divisible by 7. Please take note that 0 is divisible by 7 because 0 is divisible by any number. And for larger numbers, we need to repeat steps 1 and 2 until it becomes a smaller number. Now let us try this example. 112 Now we need to do the first step. The first step is we need to double the last digit of the number which is 2. 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Then we need to do the second step. We need to subtract 4 from the remaining digits of the number which is 11. So 11 minus 4 is equal to 7. And 7 is a multiple of 7, therefore 112 is divisible by 7. Now let us try another example. 147 now we need to do the first step the first step is you need to double the last digit of the number which is 7 7 times 2 is equal to 14 then we need to do the second step we need to subtract 14 from the remaining digits of the number which is 14 14 minus 14 is equal to 0 and since 0 is a multiple of any number 147 is divisible by 7. Now let us try this example. 1750 And the last digit of 1750 is 0. And twice 0 is equal to 0. And 175 minus 0 is equal to 175. Here, we can repeat the two steps to 175 until it becomes a smaller number. So the first step is we need to double the last digit of the number which is 5 and 5 times 2 is equal to 10. Then we need to subtract 10 from the remaining digits of the number which is 17. 17 minus 10 is equal to 7 and 7 is a multiple of 7. Therefore, 1750 is divisible by 7. Now let us try another example. 3976 The first step is we need to double the last digit of the number, which is 6, and 6 times 2 is equal to 12. Then, we need to subtract 12 from the remaining digits of the number, which is 397 so 397 minus 12 is equal to 385 now we can repeat the two steps until it becomes a smaller number so the first step is we need to double the last digit of the number which is 5 and 5 times 2 is equal to 10 then we need to subtract 10 from the remaining digits of the number which is 38 38 minus 10 is equal to 28 and 28 is a multiple of 7 therefore 3976 is divisible by 7 and for even larger numbers we can group the numbers by blocks of 3 and we would arrange them from right to left and then we would alternately subtract and add the numbers in each block now let us try this example 1,226,757 We can group the numbers by blocks of 3 and it will be 1, 
226, and 757. And now we should arrange them from right to left. So it will be 757, 226, and 1. Then we would alternately subtract and add the numbers. So it will become 757 minus 226 plus 1. And this is equal to 532. And from 532, we can perform the two steps. The first step is we need to double the last digit of the number, which is 2. 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Then we need to subtract 4 from the remaining digits of the number, which is 53. 53 minus 4 is equal to 49. And 49 is a multiple of 7, therefore 1,226,757 is divisible by 7. And that's it! Now you know the divisibility rules of 7. If you like this video, please click the like and subscribe button. Thank you for watching!